Welcome to the 2023 Short Par 4 No to Begay the Third Junior Golf National Championship presented by R1 Companies. A gorgeous day here at the final round of Casati Pines. This is the 16 to 18 liter Misha Golod. Misha won a year ago looking to go back to back, and he'll have that for par at 12 to maintain his lead. Ryan Burr, four-time PGA Tour winner and our tournament host, note to Begay the third, and wow, Misha's been on some kind of run. He certainly has. You just look at that nice, clean setup. You can see the greens rolling pure here at Casati Pines. Players loving the response they're getting on the greens. This young man has developed such a strong game since his victory here last year. Headed to University of North Carolina on a golf scholarship, and he's living the dream, Ryan. Now, last year, Noda arrived displaced from Ukraine, his home country, his family is still there, and now belongs and lives at the Ledbetter Academy. And really, since his victory at Kasati Pines a year ago, his life has absolutely changed on the golf course, won some huge events around the country, and as you said, will play in the ACC and in complete control of his game here in the final round in the 16-18. to 18. This now for par at 12. Really not a whole lot in this. Just cleaning it up. Can't lose your focus coming down the stretch here. You want to win. And that lead looking to go back to back at the Nota Begay. No one's done it. Misha looking to do just that. And it is a four-shot lead over Leo Chu. Now that final group, finally some separation. 14 to 15. This is Lucky Cruz Nota. He has been at every single championship here at Cachata. Well, and that's an amazing distinction considering that there are very few exemptions given and everybody's got to play their way in. Will the fourth time be the charm for Lucky Cruz? Let's get to the highlights, 14 to 15. This is Jaden June. Notice says he wants to find the true meaning of life through golf. Well, there's a lot of meanings in golf, and we're all looking for that meaning right there, which is the ball at the bottom of the hole. And Jaden June, early clubhouse leader, playing some exceptional golf, trying to put a number up and see if it would stick. How about that shot from the young Jaden? Well, Ryan, you just see the precision of all these young players here, the finest in the country. I've seen the socks match the shirt, but very rarely have I seen the hair match the shirt. 65, though, in the final round, making a charge. Could Lucky Cruz fend him off? Well, Lucky's really put together a nice run this summer leading into this event, playing with some confidence, and you can see there, that's one kind of shot that builds your belief. Yeah, so at nine under now at the ninth, par five, every player pretty much uh, making it a three-shot hole. You can see there, trying to modify the follow-through, keep the flight down, playing some golf shots, Lucky Cruz. Yeah, it would make birdie there at nine, so a birdie at nine. Now this is an eagle chip at ten, so par fives here at Casati Pines. You get one at nine and then another one at ten. He would make birdie there to get 11 under, gave one back at 11. Here a big-time par putt at 13, Noda. These are the kind that test your nerve down the stretch. Stay calm. Trust your stroke, and that's exactly what Lucky does. Nice putt. Well, for Lucky Cruz, he will head to the University of Houston where he will play his college golf. Right now it is a two-shot lead with a 68-65 first two rounds. Cruz two-shot lead over June, who's in the clubhouse with the 65. Let's get to the boys 12-13. to Nota, what a story Maverick Midthune has become. What a story, putting some good rounds together, coming out of the primary rough here. A little bit unpredictable. Ball's going to want to run out away from the player, so you got to judge it correctly. And he does just that. Beautiful. Carries the bunker by a few yards, and now is going to have a great look for birdie. He shot 64 yesterday, did Maverick. It is just amazing how much talent has arrived here at Casati Pines. So let's take a look at how Mav has gotten it done this week. Playing out of the rough, not a way you want to make your living, but how about this shot? Doing an exceptional job of judging the fly out of that primary rough. It's dormant, but it still can cause some havoc if you don't pull the right club. Yeah, no doubt. A 64 yesterday. That because of a hot putter. Would it stay hot, Noda? Well, just look how smooth these greens are here at Casati Pines. You get the ball online with good speed, and you're going to make a lot of putts. Maverick, an absolute 
birdie machine here in the final round. He can't be stopped. Oh, beautiful contact there. You can see he catches ball first. Allows him to get the grooves on the golf ball with a little bit of control. And you can see just how pumped up he is. So Nicholas Melvin, he's in with a 67 to pull within a tie for second. A Dent with a beautiful 66. A Gordy Johnston with a 67. Harrison Young all playing great golf. Note alive to the 10 and 11s with Ben Osi. He is six under on the day. His final hole tied for the lead almost in the water. Oh, staying aggressive, and look at that shot. Judging it beautifully, sneaking in there, going to have a great look. So O.C. will have an eagle attempt. This is Kai Molina with a birdie to tie O.C. and Hudson Hurt at 16 under. So tough to keep pace. And that just sneaks in, shaking his head. That was not his best stroke. So a three-way tie at the top, 10 and 11. Let's show you how we got here. And note it, it all started with Penn O.C., First hole of the day. Just a nice look, chipping for eagle. It's got a chance, it's running toward the hole, and boom, that's how you get your round started. Yeah, so O.C. gets off with the eagle, and then here at three. Beautiful golf swing here, nice control, good contact. Loses his balance a little bit, but he's watching it and likes it. So you had to think, uh, with the eagle at one, New probably had to make a crazy run today and know that he's done just that. Well, a lot of players know that the golf course is accessible under these soft conditions, and O.C., as you see there, is taking advantage. Now, Kai Molina had to be aware that he needed to get off to a good start with O.C. going wild, and he drains his birdie putt at one to get it to 15 under. But back to O.C., his first five holes, Noda, five under. Yeah, he's handling these smooth fast surfaces at Kasati Pines running at 13 on the stimp runs that right in so OC going completely wild Molina has to keep pace at seven uh, sometimes it's hard when you're looking up at the leaderboard and you've got to keep firing at flag sticks but doesn't seem to be bothering Molina beautiful shot right there and birdies absolutely everywhere this is OC another chance for eagle from off the green in a tight race Got to keep up the pace and sneaks that one in there. Should be able to clean that up. Yeah, give him the birdie to tie Molina for the lead. Now the big fella, Hudson Hurt, he putting for eagle. Uh, these players really attacking these par fives. Gets a great look at it, just misreads it a bit. We'll give him the birdie to get to 15. Now Molina to stay at 16, solo lead. Got a chance to get out in front, and you can tell he quick walks that. And usually that means you don't really like it. And it drops back into a three-way tie. This now Hudson Hurt for the lead. Players just putting wonderful speed on these putts, and you can see just how excited he is when that drops. Oh, give it to him with the fist pump. So 10 and 11, it is absolutely tight at the top. Three-way tie at 16 under. O.C., Molina, and Hurt. All these players are born to win. From the first day I stepped in, I knew I would heed the call. I was destined for glory, rise above and never fall. This is the moment I've waited for all of my life. This is my legacy, this is my moment to rise. NBC Sports welcomes you to the short par for Nota Begay the third Boys Junior Golf National Championship presented by R1 Companies. We're in southwest Louisiana, one hour north of Lake Charles 
in the town of Kinder. Casati Pines Golf Club at Casada Resorts hosts for the fourth time. 81 degrees with mostly sunny conditions this afternoon. Joined now by four-time PGA Tour winner Nota Begay the third. Nota, year number four of this championship. Every year the qualifying numbers continue to skyrocket as players try to play their way into this championship. The open format, why is it important? Well, I think it gives anybody and everybody a chance with a competitive mindset to go in, sign up, and make their way to our national championship, which has given an opportunity to quite a few number of great players. We've seen Aiden Kraft that came in here earlier uh, a few years ago, unrecruited, ends up playing for Oregon. A U.S. amateur champ, Nick Dunlap, goes on to do great things, and we're going to see him on the PGA Tour soon. So this event is really a springboard for a lot of opportunity for kids in this country, and it's open to anybody. And the message from every Every player is how much they love Casati Pines here at Cachada. Uh, perfect scoring conditions here on championship. The final 18 holes, hardly a breath of wind. The golf course in great condition. Going to be a shootout, Nota. Absolutely. When the wind lays down and the greens are accessible, they're smooth, they're fast, they're in perfect condition. It proves to provide some great scoring conditions. We're going to see some low ones. Yeah, Got to be able to handle these greens. A 13 on the stimp this week. And let's get out to the live action note of Molina tied for the lead at 16 under at 15. A oh, beautiful lie here in the flat spot in the fairway. Can he take advantage? And does just that. Gets it in there tight. And he will have that to get it to 17 under par. Currently, it is a three-way tie for the lead at 16. This is Bryant Yelverton. Critical hole here. Very accessible, reachable by every player in the field. If they find the fairway, going to get some eagle looks here. But can you convert? Look at Ben cheering him on there. You love to see the camaraderie between these players as they form new friendships throughout the week. And from Mississippi, how about that? Three rounds in the 60s, 14 under par. 14 under par, Ryan, and still not even close. Uh, just tells you the caliber of play at this national championship. A tied for the lead is Ben Osi. This for Eagle to get to 18 under. Oh, Ben, you got to get it to the hole. That's rule number one. Could be costly but when all is said and done. Final round 65. That has him clubhouse leader Noda at 17 under. Remember, he was five under through his first five holes today. Will 17 be enough? Have to wait and see. What a round for Ben Osi. Now Ryder Lynn to get it to 15 under. Having a little bit of difficulty today. Not quite keeping pace with these uh, leaders. Back at 15. This to tie the lead with OC. Hurt from off the green. Ball just not stretching out, but should clean that up. Let's get to the 12 and 13 with Maverick Middoon. 12 under at 14 looking for birdie. Going to sneak in there. These are critical putts as things get a little bit more pressure packed. Just oh, dies out at the yeah, end. Just didn't keep the speed up there. Ryan couldn't hold its line. He has built himself a pretty nice cushion, Nota, as it is a five-shot lead for Maverick. Back to the 10 and 11 with Axel Monso in that final group after a 66 yesterday. Nota, this for birdie. Yeah, finding it a little bit tough going today. It's tough to win tournaments at this national level, but that should uh, ease the pain just a bit. Indeed, over 80 junior golf wins for Axel Monso from Miami. Low round in his career is 61. Now Molina, this to tie OC for the lead. Huge putt here at 15. Got to decide, am I going to put this firm inside or put it on the edge and let it drip in? Oh, it puts a nice... Smooth stroke on that. Got to be happy with his day. So Kai tied with OC at 17 under. Molina with three holes to play. The short par four. Nota Begay, the third boys junior golf national championship is presented by R1 Companies. Real estate reimagined. Powered by Wilson, the original golf brand since 1914. And by Cachada Casino and Resort, Louisiana's best bet. Short Par 4 is a monthly subscription for golf apparel and accessories. And so based on what you like, we can cater a box to you and knowing that it's not just everybody's going to get the exact same thing. Junior golfers, their sizes are changing 
almost monthly. And so we've made a subscription model that's very easy. We aim to help make golf less expensive. So with our subscription, you're going to get a curated package every single month based on a style persona that you fill out and you'll love what we send you. We absolutely pride ourselves on being the experts of apparel when it comes to golf. You can go to shortpar4.com, click on membership. It will take you through a style quiz. From there, it's as easy as answering four questions and you'll receive your first box within 48 hours. Championship Week featured the Wilson Sporting Goods Putting Challenge. This year, it's gonna be pretty special. Manolo, the social media personality, is coming out. He will be emceeing it on the mic. Each of the four divisions' top five qualifiers gathered to compete under the lights. The 100-foot putt on the Casati Putting Green proved challenging, entertaining, and dramatic. Another memorable night at the NB3 where each winner added a new staff model putter to their bag, compliments of Wilson Sporting Goods. Ryan Burr back with note to Begay. Kai Molina tied for the lead as he comes to the epic golf 16th hole. Well, tight race and these shots get a little bit more pressure packed, but boy, these young players simply know how to handle the heat. So we'll have that to take the lead. And how about what the Epic Golf Club has done here at 16, the Epic 16th hole. It is a hole-in-one contest, $10,000 scholarship if anyone makes the hole-in-one today, Noda. And what an opportunity for some young golfer to be able to walk away with 10K if they can just get the ace. And Epic Golf Club not done there during the girls' show we will have a random drawing of every player in the field for another $10,000 scholarship. Now we have Hudson Hurt taking aim here at the 16th. So great to see Epic Golf supporting junior golf as well as education for some lucky contestant going to help out with their scholarship money. And Hudson will have that putt to tie the lead at 17 under. Back to boys 14 to 15. It is the lucky crew show at 14. Uh, playing with two-shot lead, trying to get this in the house. One of the few players that has been here for every single one of our national championships, Club Troll. He liked it, and for good reason, gets it in there just off the green. And Lucky will have that to get it to 11 under any three-shot lead. One of the great stories this week, Charlie Woods with his dad Tiger on his bag. For Charlie Woods, it was a 66 at qualifying at Mission Inn, one of the best qualifying rounds by any player in the field. This week, no to the putter just hasn't cooperated. Well, in order to compete at this level, you got to make some putts. You can see Charlie frustrated with the outcome of that putt, and it was a little bit of the same all week, just not quite seeing the lines correctly. But his tee to green game is solid. He's really evolved over the last year since he played here last time. And you can see an eagle chip here going down to the hole. You can see dad watching. Tiger really loves the opportunity to be on the bag and spend some quality time with his son. Yeah, so that was Charlie's opening nine. Two under on his opening nine in this final round. And as you said, to be able to just see those two completely away from fans and just be themselves, it's, it's wonderful to see, Noda. Well, Tiger really talks Charlie through certain shots, gets him to try and hit cuts and fades, and really understand how to navigate your way around a tournament golf course. And we will catch up live with Tiger and Charlie. Hope to hear from both players and caddy after the round. Back out live now to the short par 4, 17th with Teddy Dunn. Tough week for Teddy. Just not enough birdies this week. Only four birdies through two rounds and just not keeping up with the leaders. And you take a look at the 16 to 18 division. It is Misha looking to go back to back, Noda. Uh, this is just how quality these young players are. That is a tough and difficult shot there. You have to get supreme contact on it to measure out the carry. And wow, that is well done. Yeah, opportunity to take it to nine under par. You know, we met Misha one year ago and witnessed a turning point in his game and life. You might remember he closed in style, a birdie eagle finish, complete with a club twirl on the final hole to secure his biggest victory ever. Winning this tournament last year was a huge career changer for me. 
it's been amazing. This tournament gave me a lot of opportunities, opened a lot of doors for me. Career changer, open doors. Since then, his journey from being Ukraine's top junior player to becoming a top tier competitor in America continues on a most promising path. I've done a lot of work in the past year. Every part of my game, I've improved big time, lengthwise, putting wise, iron game wise. Just a lot of things in my game have gotten much better. I can't thank Ledbetter Academy enough for getting me to the point that I am right now in my game. Soon he'll be saying so long to those friends he's made the last two years at the Golf Zon Ledbetter Academy, and he will make his way to Chapel Hill and play for the Tar Heels. But first, another title to secure here at Cachada. Great story brewing in the 12 to 13. Maverick Midthune, currently a five shot lead over Nicholas Melvin and Noah Manley at the 15th. And one of the best ways to build a big lead is to make very few mistakes. Only one drop shot through two rounds for Maverick, playing some great golf. And those players in Maverick's group running out of time, but there is time for Noah Manley. Five back. Gonna need to make something special happen in these closing holes. Uh, but Maverick is not letting up, so Noah's gotta make it happen. And he's gotta do it himself. Let's get back to the 10 and 11. We saw a two-way tie for the lead at the top. How about we can make it three right here? Not easy though. Hudson Hurt from downtown Nota. These guys are right in the middle of a big fight down the stretch, and Hudson trying to keep pace. Look at that. Oh, oh boy, does he love that. What a putt from Hurt to 17 under and a three-way tie at the top. That is a timely, timely putt. You can see that young man is pumped up, adrenaline flowing through the veins. And he's got a couple holes left. Back now to 14 to 15. Lucky Cruz in cruise control. Uh, just off the green, and that's exactly what you need to do when playing with a little bit of a lead down the stretch is just make it stress-free. So stays at 10 under, two-shot lead with four holes to play. Get back to 10 and 11, Noda, and Kai Molina with a chance to take the outright. We see him make a couple short putts thus far. Nice smooth stroke, likes to die it into the hole. And you can see just doesn't hold its line there, lost a little bit of pace at the end. And the epic 16th hole providing some absolute dramatics. Back to the 12 and 13 leader, Maverick Midthune. This to get it to 13 under Nota. Just setting it outside that left edge, trying to get it to just drift a little bit to the right. Did not quite play enough break. And give Declan Dent some credit there with that 66. Gordy Johnston also in the house. Now back to our 16 to 18 leader. This is Golod. Another player with a big lead and their respective age group and just got to cozy it up there when you're playing with a big lead just don't do anything dumb down the stretch and should be able to hold up the trophy and Pavel Zar in with a 67 but he's five back now Noah Manley to try to cut into that lead he does make birdie to get to eight under to get four back of Midthune Got to give it up to Johnny Damon, who brought his A-game this week. It's the best sports drink I've ever tasted. Drinkagame.com to order yours. Want to meet my new friends? We come from almost every state. Even Hawaii. And from around the globe. China. Panama. Thailand. Canada. Ukraine. Brazil. It's never too soon to think about next year. Registration is now open for the 2024 Shore Par 4. Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship. Sign up before January 1st. And you'll get a discounted rate. Go to JGNC.org and sign up today. Fun time! Yay! time you have the opportunity to be involved in something that Noda's doing, you want to take that very seriously. It's so much fun to see the kids out there working hard and having an experience and having opportunities to follow their passion. So many kids having the opportunity to compete, to experience what you guys have put together. That experience is just as valuable. Golf is hard. 
The things that they have to develop is so important through life, not just golf. One fun fact about me is that uh, my whole family played professional tennis. My dad was top 20 in the world, my mom was top 50. I like to bake desserts. My specialty in the kitchen is brownies. I like to draw my mom, my dad, golf holes. I love playing piano. I just like playing fun melodies. I'm a pitcher, I'm a quarterback, and I'm a guard when I'm not playing golf. I enjoy working with people with special needs and veterans. We need to give back to them because we wouldn't be here without them and they need our support. My low round is a 61. My record for juggling a golf ball is 102. I just started playing golf three years ago during COVID. Fun fact about me is I would play golf every day if my parents would let me. Welcome back to the short par four. Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship presented by R1 Companies. How about 10 and 11? It is a three-way tie at 17 under. Heading to the short par four, 17th, 302 on the card for Hudson Hurt. Couple birdie holes to finish up this round here for the two players that are still tied at the lead with Ben Ossie, who has already posted at 17 with a great 65 to finish. And this short par 4, 17th, so important. Can't thank our friends at short par 4 enough. Martin Haas, Bobby DeMeo, getting it done, supporting junior golf. No, to making the game of golf more affordable with the short par 4 vault. We encourage everyone in the NB3 family to use the code NB350. Go to shortpar4.com and just be able to make golf more affordable for your son or daughter. All right, now the important 17th, Kai Molina tied for the lead. Got to keep pace here. Got to put something in the fairway. Should be able to get within range of a wedge distance, and it looks like he's going to have a little bit of an uphill and have a lot of good options from that spot. So a three-way tie, but Hurt and Molina get 17 and 18. Back to the 12 and 13 leader, Maverick Midthoon. Yeah, just putting on a clinic today. Just got to stay steady. Great balance there. You can learn a lot from these junior golfers. Their mechanics are solid, but they swing hard, but have good balance. And any golfer watching across the country can certainly pick up a few good tips from these young players. Yeah, still no hole in one today at the Epic 16th. As we're on a walk with Lucky Cruz, is this the year for Lucky? The course is fairly tight and you have to position yourself to give yourself chances on this course, which I've done pretty well the last two days. And it's just always caught my eye the right way. When Lucky first came to Cachada back in 2020, his flowing locks and effervescent smile immediately caught our gaze. But his journey has revealed an even more impressive game and an approach that has served him well. Work harder. <laughs> Competition has gotten so good that you just you got to keep practicing to get up to that level and i've been doing pretty well so far are we just moments away from this soon to be houston cougar holding aloft the trophy he has spent the last four years pursuing it would be my biggest win for sure it would tell me that all of the work i've put in up to this moment has paid off Back live with Lucky now at 15, two-shot lead, Noda. Just coming out of this primary rough here. Again, got to judge the carry. Sometimes a little unpredictable, and the ball will kick just a little bit forward. Gets that one to hold there, lands it into the grain. Still have a nice little uphill putt there. Two-shot lead under intense pressure. This is fourth year. Liam Iyer now. He's two under in the 14 to 15. Yeah, this coming from a much better angle. So able to go right over that flag stick. Going to have a nice birdie look down the hill. And Liam from San Jose, California. Let's go back to the 10 and 11 division. Currently a three-way tie. That can change here. Mom May on the bag for Kai. You can see fully committed on the release. He's watching it. See if he has it dialed in just a little short, but still inside that makeable range. And Noda, another putt from Molina to take the lead as he down to his final two holes. 
Yeah, one of these players is going to have to make something happen. Got that 17 posted already. Hudson Hurt in the same boat. He's in a three-way tie for the lead. That can change right here. Had that one on line just about a half a club short, but nonetheless, both players with birdie looks. An incredible finish is brewing at Cachada, the home of junior golf, Cachada Casino and Resort. Located next door to Kasati Pines Golf Club is Kashada Casino Resort, featuring 100,000 square feet of gaming floor, luxurious accommodations, fabulous restaurants, and live entertainment. Employing thousands, the impact on the community is undeniable. Expansion beyond Kashada Casino Resort is in the near future for the Kashada Tribe. Kashada has always been about family. Uh, the tribe and the casino both want to help foster that. I'm a big proponent of economic development. We're going to build hotels, we're going to build gas stations, we're going to get into areas of business that grow our tribe, that provide more opportunities for our members, both young and old. I'm particularly excited about the upcoming renovation we are doing to our resort. When you talk about keeping up with competition and staying above, we're going to be the best in Louisiana. And thank you to Putt View for being the official yardage book of the championship. And here at Casati Pines, Nota, every hole so intricate in how you have to play it. Well, putting is one of the biggest parts of the game and great to have some assistance with these well-designed yardage books. All right, Maverick Midthune, our leader, 12 to 13, looking to add on. Don't need to add on, just cozy it up there, Maverick. and. Just maintain that lead, force Noah to make up the difference if possible. So it's a par at the epic 16th for our leader. He'll tap in for his par and the lead will stay at four. And let's move to 16 to 18, Noda. This is Jackson Geyer. He had one of the rounds of the day early on and how about this shot? Uh, just from outside that bunker, a bit of an awkward stance, but measures it out nicely. So some really solid rounds turned in today from the likes of Tyler Vitolo. And it's out there, Ryan. Gets Get that putter going. Not a whole lot of wind to defend the golf course. Jake Moffitt, his third at 10. You can see players... Taking dead aim, greens are in perfect condition, receptive to quality golf shots, which means you can hit it tight. And yeah, tap in for Moffitt. Pavel Zar, he qualified out of Florida. Just running that one in. Nice, smooth lefty action. And back live with Teddy Dunn at 18 for birdie, and Teddy finishes off the day with a birdie. Nice week for Teddy, but like I said, just not enough birdies in the bag this week. Very consistent golf, though. And yeah, no doubt. Back live with our leader now, Misha Golod, off the fairway here. Misha hasn't been in a whole lot of trouble. This is a difficult lie. It is. The ball sort of sitting down in kind of a dried out, trampled down area. It's really got to trap it. And you can see he gets right on top of it, accelerating through that finish. And boy, is it his week. Unbelievable. Golod hits it to a couple feet. He'll have that for the lead to grow to nine. Geyer now to finish up at 18. Nice little cleanup there. 18th hole, very accessible and easy for most of these players to put a red number on the scorecard. And you mentioned in the 12 and 13 division, Noah Manley running out of time. This for par. And this is a must, and he gets it, but still going to need a little help from Maverick down the stretch if he has any hope of winning. Okay, back to 10 and 11. Hudson Hurt at the short par for 17th. This for Birdie to take the outright lead. He'll give Molina a line as well. Seen him make a couple of those mid-range 15 to 25 footers already, but unable to get that one to cooperate. Yeah, I would uh, back off a little. This, this, uh, this is uh, pressure time here. So par for Hurt stays at 17. Molina will have a putt to get it to 18 under. Meanwhile, back at 15, it's Lucky Cruz for another birdie. Got that cross-handed grip on there. Gets those shoulders level. Has a nice 
cadence to his action there and really put, putting together a nice week of golf. Yeah, but the lead stays at two for Lucky. Now at the short par four, 17th, Briar Murphy next to play, trying to get it to 11 under. It's coming from just hole high and just expecting it to come down. And that's one of the things that happens in these surfaces here. We're on a very flat part of earth and uh, there's just not a whole lot of break. And sometimes players have a tendency to just overread some of these putts. All right, we just saw Hurt miss right. Molina, a similar putt noter for the outright lead. Can he learn much from, from Hudson's putt? Absolutely. He should have learned a whole lot. This putt just going to move a little bit more to his right than maybe what he visually saw. You can see the instructions coming in Mandarin Chinese. Uh, he's fluent in both English and Chinese. So getting those final instructions. Now roll it in for the lead. Oh, he just never got that online. Almost an identical miss to Hurt. So both players don't take advantage of the short par 4 17th, but they do get the par 5 18th. Meanwhile, Liam Iyer may seem like your typical 15-year-old, but as we found out, there is much more to his story. Liam began playing tournaments at 8 years old. His dream, like so many others, to become a professional golfer. But very quickly... That dream took a surprise turn. When I was nine years old, I was diagnosed with stage three Burkitt's lymphoma. Eight months in Stanford's Children's Hospital and countless chemo treatments later, Liam emerged cured, yet forever changed. It was the hardest battle of my life, but I think it really gave me the confidence and perseverance to pursue my dreams and end up on national TV. Incredible to be cancer free. And how about his week here, you can see not pleased, thought that was in. And wonderful to see him getting those treatments at my alma mater, Stanford University Medical Center. You doing some great things in the medical field there for a lot of different afflictions that uh, many people face. And of course, we want to thank our great tasting premium alkaline water, Jovi Water, clinically shown to promote skin and cellular health to help you look and feel your best. Visit drinkjovi.com and learn more. It was a very expensive game and it still is a very expensive game. So it was really the idea that there has to be another outlet to make golf more accessible. So that's why I started this business and the idea came from, just as in golf, where there are two options for every par four hole approach, your wardrobe should offer you the same versatility. We wanted to make sure you look great while doing something you and your kids are passionate about. And I can promise you, your kids aren't gonna be the uncool kids on the golf course, which I know is a big thing for kids, which is brand and how they look, and that will ultimately reflect on how they play. When I met Noda for the first time, you can literally have a conversation with him and you can tell how passionate he is about junior golf. And so we knew right from the get-go that this partnership would be a perfect fit. In my golf bag, I have a lot of sunscreen. I carry Bill Watson's glove that I got at the Dell Match Play when I was seven or eight years old. It's a little too big, probably when I'm like 15 maybe it'll fit. Depends on how fast my hands grow. <laughs> I got a pretty cool head cover. It's a Kiwi bird because I'm half Kiwi, half American. I think it's pretty special to me. I actually carry three birds. This one is Goldie. Birds are my favorite animal. I always have Cheez-Its in the bag, that's, that's essential. Best golf course snack in my opinion, white cheddar Cheez-Its. Probably a box of peanuts, you know, something to snack around when I get hungry. I carry a small pickle. I shot my low round with it, so I just kept it in my bag. Welcome back to the short par four, Noda Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship. Why we're away, Noda, RJ Arone in that final group. Yeah, one of the few players I've seen that actually chipped from just off the green obviously feels real comfortable with his short game to do that. Let's get back live, 16 to 18 with Leo Chu at 15. At a point where you're basically playing for position, trying to find any way to move up the leaderboard and uh, not going to do it with that effort. And he'll stay at three under. Back to the short par four, 17th, our leader by four shots, Maverick Midthune, looking to add on. Great look from the fairway here with the short club in his hand. Can take dead aim. Oh, great turn. Full release. 
And another nice effort there from Maverick. Yeah, Mav seems to be on his way. Nothing seems to be phasing the Gilbert, Arizona resident. Let's check in on some of the highlights from 12 to 13. Federico Montaner. And this national platform, I'm so proud, Ryan, has kids representing 35 different states and seven different countries and putting on some nice, a nice show this week. Yeah, Brian Lee making the telecast thanks to this one at number seven. Oh, these players, they, they accelerate so well through the ball. And just the quality of golf shot, the things that go into a shot like that, the carry, the run out, the judgment, the execution, it's just so fun to watch. Yeah, that's what 13 on the stimp looks like. How about Harrison Young at 16 for birdie? One of the bright spots on his card, and yeah, he likes it. Caden Levy in his second nota at the fourth. This kid can flat play. Nice smooth wedge action there, and an equally smooth result. Caden finished it four under. Nicholas Melvin. Just off the green, very popular play this week, and a very popular result. Yeah, indeed, he finished it seven under par. Now back live, Noah Manley running out of time. Boy, he could really use a hole out here to cut that lead in half. Uh, pumped that drive out there. Gave him a great chance to knock it in tight. Not going to be completely happy with that. Uh, he is going to need some help from Maverick if he's going to come to 18 and have a chance. 16 to 18, Golod by five, looking to make it a six-shot lead. Yep, the lights are pretty much out for the rest of the field, and it's all shining brightly on Misha Golod, who has just put on a show this week. Aron, Chu, and Czar all now six back of Misha, who looks to go back-to-back -back at the short par for Nota Begay III Junior Golf National Championship presented by R1. Back to the epic 16th hole with Lucky Cruz. Still hadn't seen anybody walk away with that 10 grand. See if Lucky gets this online. Not really. A little bit deep there, but safe and out of the water. So what is the Epic Golf Club? Play the world's best private clubs. Think of it this way. You have your own private club all over the world. It's great for the family. Just go to epicgolfclub.com slash NB3 if you're invited to the society. Six months of free dues for being part of the NB3 family. And we've seen some great shots, Noda, at 16. Just no hole-in-ones yet. And there's another one. Well, we know this entire championship is going to come down to 18, Noda. Well, let's take a quick look at the 18th hole. A little browned out as compared to past years. Had a really tough summer here. But they've done a great job of this getting this golf course in great shape, playing in firm and fast for these players. You can see there, kind of have a chance to reach it in two with a layup short of the lake. But then you also have the lake that's protecting that second shot, so you got to be precise and hitting that fairly generous green. And 18, as always, playing as the easiest hole on the golf course. Once again, three-way tie for the lead. Hurt and Molina playing the easiest 18th with a chance to separate. You can see trying to play short of that lake, only 230 yards. He's watching this anxiously, has pulled it a little bit. And look at oh, that no! big hop. Oh, my goodness. Tied for the lead. The only thing you can't do off the tee at 18 is go long into the lake. Huge opportunity now for Molina. Uh, he too hybrid. He's twirling it. He likes it. He's got to land softly, though. My goodness, Ryan, this has a chance to go in the water, too. Oh, gosh. Ben O.C. in the clubhouse. Remember, he had one foot in the water at 18. Meanwhile, earlier, Noah Manley at 17. This has to go. And uh, that was harsh. Not that he had a, much of a chance to close that gap, but uh, any hopes of him making some sort of comeback are, are gone now. And live with Maverick for birdie. Grow the lead to five. This is just a long walk to victory, made a little bit shorter by a nice birdie putt. Yeah, he has been a machine, and the lead does grow to five with one hole to play. 
Every November, there's just one place. I want to be. In the middle of Louisiana. In the center of all things golf. Cushada Resort. An epic tournament. Cool prizes. Fun times. And you can join us. Registration is now open. For the 2024 Short Par 4. Note of a gay junior golf national championship. Sign up before January 1st. For one of the regional tournaments. And you'll get a discounted rate. So don't miss out. Go to jgnc.org. Do it today. We just try and provide so many more services than what you would expect at a normal junior golf tournament. And I think you're seeing that in the players' reactions, the parents' reactions. My parents had the same questions. What do I need to do for college golf? How do I prepare? What tournaments to play in? And that was the impetus for the Junior Golf Hub. Let's help educate the landscape out there. Every event that you play in goes automatically into your profile and college coaches get notifications that you've followed their school and they'll get a notification saying that you've played in this event and take a look. There's 2,400 schools out there. They're looking for players and the Hub has been able to provide that tool for them. Playing golf in college is not just a chance to sort of improve your game, it's an educational opportunity. Nearly every single player that has come through the national finals here has gone on to play college in some capacity, and we're very proud of that. Four divisions with three qualifiers each competing under the lights at Casati Pines. The short par four long drive championship powered by Foresight Sports featured booming drives from these remarkable young athletes. The game-changing line of launch monitors from Foresight are the most trusted and accurate in the game. From launch angle to ball speed to carry distance, it's game on. Congratulations to the short par four long drive champions who earned their championship belts. Back live to the epic 16th hole. Lucky Cruz, can he make it a three-shot lead, Noda? Uh, coming down the hill here. A little right to left in this. And Ryan basically playing against himself right now. It's a mental game. Everybody that's chasing him is already posted. So with that two-shot lead, Nobody can encroach on that lead through some good play. He's the only one that can drop shots and allow them to get closer. And stays at 10 under. Back to 18, a monumental development nota as both leaders, Molina and Hurt, find the penalty area off the tee, tied for the lead. This now both third will still have a chance for birdie. They sure will. Going to take a, a nice effort, though. That is a long driving iron there. And Hurt does a nice job of getting that on the green, so not all is lost. And meanwhile, Iyer playing with Lucky to finish up. And just moving up the leaderboard, trying to work his way back into better position. All these players are so proud. They want to shoot the best score possible and finish as high as they can. Now Molina, he also found the penalty area off the tee. Hybrid off the tee, hybrid for his second. The hybrid got him into trouble off the tee. See if he can get him out of trouble here. So both Hurt and Molina are on in three. Both, however, know to lengthy birdie putts. We could be looking at a playoff. Meanwhile, no playoff in the 16 to 18. It is a coronation. Misha Golod running away with things. He sure is, finding his ball just off the fairway there. No need to really take any major risks at this point. Misha, just get that ball in the hole, and you will be holding up the trophy at the end of the day. Now back live with Charlie Woods. Talked about the putter has just not been cooperating all week for Charlie. Not quite picking up on the reads here at Casati Pines, but Tita Green has been solid and he's definitely seen some good improvements in his game over the last year. Starting to play a lot more tournaments, playing on his high school golf team at the Benjamin School there. They won the state championship in Florida, so uh, he was a big part of that as a freshman. Back to the short par 4, 17th. Lucky Cruz just can't make any big mistakes, Nota. Certainly not. It's only a two-shot lead, but as we've seen in the past, uh, players 
can make a double bogey from time to time and does exactly what he needs to do there, staying out of that fairway bunker and going to have a short second at 17. All right, back to 18 now. You know, for Hurt and Molina, if one of these guys can drop it, Noda, it's over. Well, it's all nerve from this distance here. Long putts, you got to trust your speed and... That's typical. When you there's a lot of pressure, you have a putt of any distance, uh, you'll see a lot of players come up short just erring on the side of just being a little conservative. Uh, far from in, Nota. He'll have that to stay tied with O.C., certainly more than he was hoping for. So now Molina, this for the win. Again, another putt, just not quite having enough pace to get it to the hole, although that one was just a little bit better. But still, both players facing some testy par putts to even just tie Aussie, who's already in the clubhouse. Back at 15, Leo Chu. Definitely looking to try and chip this in. Again, just to do anything to climb up that leaderboard, improve position. Golod already running away with it. And 10 and 11 in that final group. Briar Murphy, the only of the players to get on in two. This for Eagle. Yeah, nice start. First two rounds, a couple of 66. Is just unable to keep up with the pace that the leaders had set today. And back at the 15, Misha. Just love the way he handles himself. Ryan, a lot of improvement in maturity from last year to this year is getting a little bit stronger working at that Ledbetter Academy working on all facets of their game I've seen some results this uh, week I'll tell you the alumni list is going to grow it is incredible uh, only the fourth year of the Nota Begay and notice some of the alumni winners that Misha will join just incredible what they've already accomplished now back to 10 and 11 Monso for birdie at 18 yeah, another player that got off to a good start Whoa. and a good finish. Wow. Axel at 18, not the round he wanted, but a flair for the dramatic, drops the long one. And now we got two par putts, Noda, to stay in a tie for the lead and force a playoff. How about the pressure here? Well, through the years, we've seen a number of players come to this 18th hole with tough putts to make and some make and some miss. And boy, he did not take any time over that, Ryan. Just got up there and knocked it down. So Hurt ties OC at 1,700. We know we have at least a two-man playoff. Can Molina make it three, Noda? This putt's a little bit shorter. Maybe just a touch easier. Cannot give the hole away from this distance under this circumstance. Take some break out. Add some speed. Trust your stroke. And it's in. It is a three-way playoff to decide the 10 and 11. O.C. Hurt and Molina all tied at 17 under par. Boy, you could just see how nervous his mother was <laughs> as he pulled that putter back. Uh, could hardly stand in her shoes there. And Briar Murphy to finish up with birdie. So birdies for Murphy and Monso, but the leaders settle for par, and it will be a three-way playoff to decide the 10 and 11. So pretty incredible. Ben Osi comes out way early, shoots a 65 to post at 17. It holds up. It'll be a three-way playoff. Of course, you see the Caddy Bibs out there today, sponsored by A Game, premium beverage that is a natural concoction of Icelandic glacier water, sea salt, honey, offered in six natural flavors. Johnny Damon, Bo Jackson, Go to drinkagame.com. Have it delivered to your house. In our language, I would like to say welcome to the Notabige golfers. Akoyokpahos Haslak to the Kushara tribe of Louisiana. It's really inspiring to be able to host this tournament to be able to welcome Noda and his fabulous crew in. We get to see some of the greatest youngsters from all across the world compete here. And how emotional it is to see the young people succeed. 
That's what Cushada is all about. We always have to support our youth. Our young ones are the strength. They're the future of our generations. The chance for us to be able to show our culture, to show what the Cushada tribe is all about, it has brought so much good to our community. The one thing that I hope that we serve is, is for our guests to take a piece of us back home. The champions will be walking away with some beautiful handmade pine needle baskets, which are uh, some great treasures from the Cushada tribe of Louisiana. We want to see success. We want to see our young people grow into the future. And this tournament provides all of those things. So in keeping with the tribal traditions and our sacred language, I'm going to tell you goodbye in our native tongue until we meet again. Atuklama. A cart pulled up right next to us and they said, notice here. Oh, notice here. Got my, got my blood flowing. Not many Native Americans make it on like the big stage. It's pretty cool that he made it on tour. He has a few wins. He's definitely been a big inspiration for me. I've joined his high school team in, down in New Mexico and that has helped me out a lot. But Noda's mission goes well beyond birdies and bogeys. The impact he's made throughout the NB3 Foundation is far more measurable than swing speeds. The people around where we live, I do believe they're getting more into golf because from week to week, I go to the range and I always see like uh, the little ones on the range. Pretty cool. All right, man. Great to keep it up, all right? What I want to kind of continue to encourage in young Native American kids across Indian country is to utilize golf in a positive way. It's definitely opened some doors for me for school, for college, because recently I committed to the University of Northern Colorado. Oh, wow. And Noda's desire to give back inspires a spirit of paying it forward, because you're never too young to be a role model. I'd like to um, try to be a role model for them, just try to be a good person and set an example for them. We're trying to create responsible citizens within their community that can benefit from the template that golf provides in terms of sportsmanship, etiquette, hard work, determination, goal setting, all positive attributes that these young Native American kids can take back into their communities. Ryan, so proud of the participation. We had players representing six different tribal nations in the field this week, and I couldn't be more proud of their effort and them being here. I'm so proud of you, Noda, everything you have done, certainly bringing the game of golf to so many in the junior space. Uh, without you, none of this would be possible. I put Lucky Cruz in that in that same story. I mean, he credits you so much for where he is. Well, we've been in communication over the last few years, and he's just really evolved into a high-caliber elite player, and we'll be showcasing those talents at University of Houston soon. Yeah, can't wait to watch him at the next level. I take a look at some of the highlights from the 14-15 to 15 division. Kenyon Kaler at the fifth. Just putting this just outside that right edge. Come on back in there. Okay. This is Josh Yan now at the epic 16th hole. And let's remember, Ryan, these players are all the best players from their cities and their states, and they're competing at a national level now, which just elevates the level of competition. Maybe not seeing the results that they wanted this week, but Every single one of them is a talented golfer. Caden Peranek, one of the great shots at 16. And now Kaylor Stone at 10. And I think what's really great here is we're seeing a whole different type of shot from each of these players. That ball above his feet and manages it nicely. 62 wins for Kaylor. Back live now at the Epic 16th with Misha Golod. Five shot lead. He'll go back to back before he joins one of the best teams in the country at North Carolina. And North Carolina has really come along collegiately in the last few years. Nice players in that lineup and they're gonna add one more. Not many people my age can say that they've been on national TV. But you can. If you tee it up here. At the Notre Gay Junior Golf National Championship. TV coverage. Just like the pros. Prime time. On the Golf Channel. So don't miss out. Register before January 1st. For one of the regional tournaments. And you'll get a discounted rate. Go to jgnc.org. And sign up today. the time and dedication that these kids have put into the game, including practicing, traveling, 
and all the things that come with competitive golf, that having the convenience that this apparel is coming right to their door, it's a game changer. Today we've gone a little bit further. We've now started manufacturing apparel. We work with some of the best factories and fabric developers. We hired the right designers that have been in the golf space for 20, 30 plus years. And now we're seeing our brand represented all across the junior golf landscape for a reason. There's no better feeling in the world. What I learned about myself is how well I can keep myself calm. How to be mentally tough on the course and not just give up. Just battling through the tough times that always happen. It's never really over. There's always the back nine. You learn about how you can manage a golf course when your hands are shaking a little and the heart's racing. I just tend to learn how much I really love playing this game. It makes me learn about what kind of golfer I really am. So you kind of see where your game stacks up against the best. I think I'm going to learn how to play with the big dogs. You could do anything that you put your mind to. And that's the fun part about golf. You never know too much about golf. You never master golf. Back at the Nota Begay, the third junior golf national championship. While we were away, Misha Golod to increase that lead to seven. Delicate little shot here. He's got to carry it just on the green and get it to check. Does not quite grab enough and going to have a little bit of length in that par safe. Yeah, some work to do. So back live now with Misha. Keep it at nine. And straight up the hill. Can give this a good run. I think kids just aren't used to putting on greens rolling at 13. You can see uh, just how much movement there can be. Players not quite used to dealing with greens at this speed. We have Emerson Majma now trying to navigate this birdie look here. Smooth little lefty stroke there. Walks that one right in. Over 80 junior golf wins for Majma. Also earlier, Lucky Cruz at the short par 4 17th to give himself a little breathing room. Oh my goodness, Noda. Well, had to be a little bit cautious there. It was running down grain, downhill at 13 on the stem. It can get away from you, caught the edge, but safely in with four. So the lead will be two heading to the 18th. Caddy, father, Freddie Cruz with the fist bump. Back with iron now for birdie. Beautiful roll there for Iyer. Takes a little bit of sting out of what's uh, been a slow day for him. So we know problems can lurk at 18. Meanwhile, at 18, our 12 and 13 leader Maverick Midthun has opted to lay up. That's a uh, layup zone well left of the 18th green there and smartly managing that big lead. RJ Arone. Nice aggressive roll there. RJ hanging in there with help from a special club in his bag. The putter I'm using is Paula Kramer's old putter. Friends that actually are going to be coming to this tournament used to watch her play, so they gave it to me as she gave it to them. It's got the old pink grip like it once did when she was using it, and the same face, same everything. It works amazing. Ryan, I got a couple old putters in the garage you can use. I could use the help. Noah Manley. It is going to be a second place finish for Manly. You think about the incredible strength of this field at Cachata. That's a great finish. It certainly is. Now Charlie here on his final hole of the tournament, trying to post a 67. Could get one birdie to fall here at his last. Oh, just lost the speed, Ryan. And really that's been the issue all week. Putter cooperated a little better today, but he has to be proud of his round, really navigated the golf course effectively. 68 for Charlie. He'll hope to catch up with Dad and Charlie after the round. Yeah, great to see Tiger on the bag, of course, spending some special time with Charlie, but also walking all 54 holes carrying that bag. So legs have to be pretty strong after that surgery. Yeah, sign of things to come. Back to the 12 and 13, the march is on. What a week it has been for Maverick Midthune from Gilbert, Arizona, taking complete control. And nearly finishes up in style, but uh, hey, 
The work's been done. Just to tell you the competitive nature, he's disappointed that didn't go in. Look at him, he's shaking his head. But hey, Maverick, you won the tournament by quite a few shots, so be very, very proud of that effort. That's some great playing. And Noah Manley from Winter Park, Florida, a second place finish. And Brookman Tire from Franklin, Tennessee, finishing up with a par at 18. Huge accomplishment to make it into the final group of a championship of this caliber. So take a look at that final leaderboard, 12 to 13, mid thune 13 under, class of the field. Manly, Melvin finished second and third. Declan Dent, round of the day, 66 for Declan. Gordy Johnston with a 67, but all eyes looking up at Maverick mid thune from Gilbert, Arizona. His 116th junior golf win is the biggest of his career. The short par four, Nota Begay the third, Junior Golf National Championship. U.S. Performance Academy serves grades six through 12. We're a fully independent, accredited, NCAA approved school for high performance athletes. We offer a full school experience, so we can customize through our flexibility an entire curriculum based on a customized learning path. You can come in as a ninth grader, we'll design a learning program and pathway for you to graduate with us and then on to college. In some cases, it's Olympics or professional. They can train, go to school whenever they'd like, but also be on the course, be training, be working with coaches any time of day and not have to worry about missing classes, missing coursework. We can customize and start and stop school whenever they need to to fit their model. Very flexible, so it allows me to practice a lot, play more, travel more. I feel like I'm really getting a good education. The two main things my mom and dad want me to focus on is education and golfing, so I need to make sure I'm getting enough of both. You're dealing with an incredibly high level of golfer when these kids are on the course just watching practice rounds. That requires a ton of time. Our flexibility and support combined with the talent level that's out here this week is it's pretty special. The atmosphere out here is cool. Going out to the putting green, having them roped off. All the cameras here are super awesome. A lot of banners and stuff so that makes you feel like you're playing a big tournament on the PGA Tour. The course is just awesome. I love the course a lot. The green's good, the fairway's good. Just meeting new people. The competition is world class. The sponsorships are great. There's a lot of activities to do. The sponsors are really engaged. They really want you to get the most out of the tournament that you can. It's just a different level of intensity. Oh, it's definitely like the biggest tournament I've played in. I've never played a tournament quite like this. Just overwhelming. Welcome back. It is crunch time at the short par four. Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship presented by R1 Companies. I'm Ryan Bird, joined by Nota Begay, who is with Tiger and Charlie Woods. There's so many demands on your time 24 7, getting pulled 100 different directions. Explain what it's like to get into that zone with just you and Charlie out there on the golf course as his caddy. He's playing, just navigating the game that you know so well. Well, it's just he and I. You know, it's just father son out there as a uh, player caddy, and we're just trying to get around in as few shots as possible and trying to navigate the golf course. And, you know, and just the challenge of learning how to play tournament golf at higher levels. And uh, these are all new experiences for Charlie. And what kind of memories does that bring back of? what you and your dad went through. I mean, I fired my dad, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> he got it for one time and he got fired after nine holes. So that didn't work out too well. But um, as far as my, my coach and my mentor and my, my best friend, um, he was the world to me. And to be able to have these type of experiences and create these life experiences with Charlie um, mean the world to me as well. Charlie, you're out there playing a very difficult game and you have a guy on your bag that has seen everything and done everything. How are you using that information effectively? Well, I mean, I just see him as dad. So a lot of, a lot of stuff he, he gives me, I don't listen at all. <laughs> so it takes a lot longer to learn, but uh, I'll listen to a few things. Well, there was a few mishaps on the bag last year, Charlie. How did old dad do this year? He hasn't forgotten anything this year, so. <laughs> Big improvement. Yeah, well, thanks so much, you guys, for playing, and uh, we certainly hope to see you back next year, Charlie. Yeah. Thanks, Nona. Thank you, Nona. And Charlie Wood certainly caught the attention of the world with that 66 qualifying at Mission Inn at the Florida Regional. 
Speaking of regionals, Noda, a first look at the 2024 boys' regional locations. Ryan, so hard to believe we're already going into our fifth season of this national championship with the great addition of the Kahnawake Golf Club up on the First Nations Reserve in Quebec, Canada, along with some of our other tribal properties, 12 in total, that encapsulates a great schedule for these qualifiers. Yeah, I know Rob Dixon is stocking the grounds here at Cachada. So proud of those Canadians. Still to come at the short par four, Nota Begay the third Junior Golf National Championship. It is time for the 10 and 11 three-way playoff. What do you get? When you take 150 really, really good junior golfers. An awesome course. Four age divisions. And fun contests. It's the Nota Begay Junior Golf National Championship. Sign up before January 1st for one of the regional tournaments. And you'll get a discount at our eight. Go to jgnc.org. Next year, you can be a part of all this too. We are a real estate brokerage. We're not a brokerage that takes all the money from the brokers. They're the ones doing the hard work and we compensate them for that. It's important as realtors that we give back to the communities that we're selling. We really do give people the opportunity to get started in the business and to survive the business. We have a platform that allows people to succeed in a way that they may not be able to with other companies. A platform to operate their businesses and be independent, but have the chance to really build something for themselves and their families. A large part of my why is helping families so that they can succeed in the business and have a better quality of life. Come to r1companies.com, they'll find more information. Um, we have franchises that are available now all across the country. If they're just a realtor that needs a home, then I would certainly hope that they'll give us a look. For the fourth consecutive year, Wilson was on site to support the championship, helping make each participant feel like a touring pro. We have our traveling tour truck on site this week. The kids and their parents are able to walk through the truck, take a tour with our on-site tour manager, and then be able to build out some product this week. Wilson provided a custom golf bag, backpack, and an assortment of products adding to the excitement of championship week. The Wilson closest to the pin contest was staged on Kasati Pines 19th hole. We got music going. They'll get to try out some of our new wedges releasing in 2024. Each player took their turn at the 93-yard shot with the new Wilson Staff Model Golf Ball. So they'll come up, hit two shots, and then we'll take their close to the pen. It's a, a great experience for the kids. Each division champ will receive three custom Staff Model wedges from Wilson Sporting Goods upon their release in early 2024. We are set for the 10 and 11 year old three-way playoff. Not many courses in America, Nota, have the 19th hole, a perfect destination for our playoff. Well, that's a short side at only 95 yards to a green protected by water. Now, all these kids, as you just saw, have hit this shot of the Wilson closest to the pin. OC first, safely on, we'll have a look at birdie. Well, that's okay, I don't think he's gonna be completely happy with that. With what's at stake, it's going to take a special effort from one of these three. Someone's going to have to stick it in there tight. Now, Benny had such a long layoff after posting that 17-under. Hudson hurt to play next. It was a par at 18 to get into this playoff. And a good par at that after finding the penalty area off the tee. See if he can get this one in tight. And yes, he does. What a shot from Hurt with the pressure on. And Ryan, that's exactly how you put the heat on your competitors in a playoff. You've got to go out and win playoffs. You can't expect others to lose. May Molina on the bag for her son, Kai. Now the pressure solely on his 11-year-old shoulders knowing that Hurt is in tight nota. Well, Hurt's been putting the pressure on Molina all day and he's responded. He's got to do it again. A beautiful finish there. He's looking at it. He may like it. Oh, but still going to have some work left to do with Hurt in the driver's seat after a great tee shot. And still a lot to be decided in 10 and 11. 12 and 13 has been decided. Joined now by the winner.
Mav, just an incredible week. I know this is a, a huge deal for you to win on national television. Where's this rank in your wins in your junior career? Definitely, it's a lot up there, yeah. It's one of the biggest tournaments I've ever won. And going wire to wire, that's really hard when you get in that mindset. How did you keep the pace and the focus as you work through the event? You know, just keep my head down and just believe in myself to keep going, push every hole, and just hit a good shot and see if you can make a birdie putt. At the 18th, Liam Iyer laying way back, Noda. Yeah, course is playing firm and fast, just being a oh, little bit conservative off the tee, keeping that ball out of the penalty area. And he loved it. Wow. You said be the number, and it is. Beautiful second. What a shot. Iyer will have a great look for Eagle at the last. Uh, lucky, first step of the championship taken care of. He avoids the penalty area. This lucky second with the two-shot lead. Just has to keep it out of the water here, and he will win this championship. Safely on dry land, Ryan. And Dad knows. It's in the bag, fellas. And Freddie knows that an eagle putt, he can... Take his time with that with a two-shot lead, but Lucky Cruz should finally break through. Back to the short par four, 17th with our leader, Misha Golod. Short par four unveiling the vault in 2024. You go in, you shop, you get what you want, saving major dollars throughout the year. Short par four making the game more affordable for everyone. And speaking of championships, Golod now a six-shot lead note him. Yeah, and it uh, could be more after that beautiful tee shot there. Driving it right next to the green off the tee. Back to the playoff here at the 19th. OC to putt first. They have to believe that Hurt is going to knock in that short birdie putt. So OC can't really like his hopes at this point. Now let's see if Kai can get this putt to cooperate and find the bottom. This is big time pressure for these guys. So when you're in a playoff like this, Noda, you just assume the guy you're with is going to make it? Yeah, you go out and you try and win the playoff. You can't expect somebody to fail. So Molina now feeling like this needs to go down. Wow, what a putt from Molina. That might be the biggest putt of his career. That was big time, Ryan. Unbelievable. A hug from mom. Will that be enough? Well, what this does, Ryan, is it sends a shock wave through Hurt's system now because he definitely knows he has to make. Hurt the best of the three shots, and he misses. Kai Molina wins with a long birdie in the sudden death playoff. Holy mackerel, what just happened? And this is a big achievement for every player that's able to win these tournaments. Wow, the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. Kai Molina from San Diego, California, with Mom May on the bag, wins the short par four, Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship. Have the opportunity to play in an event like this is tremendous. And to see all the junior golf talent here at the NB3, the future is extremely bright. The big dream is to create the brand, is to keep going with it. It's not an overnight success story. I couldn't do this without my team. And it does, it really takes an army. We're gonna be watching this down the road here 10 years from now saying, wow, we were supplying that guy with his apparel and now he's on the PGA Tour. On the junior side, growing into adulthood, the things that the game of golf teaches and the morals that come along with that, these are foundational values that we want to be a part of moving forward. If you are planning a buddy's trip, there is no better destination than Cachada Casino and Resort and Casati Pines. Emerson Majma here at 18. Very straightforward bunker shot there off a nice uphill lie. That's typically what happens. Tough to get the ball to the hole when that ball just wants to spin and slow down. 
and you see every player's face that made it to the championship on your screen. This is R.J. Arone at 17. Bit of a conservative play off the tee, laying well back and missing the fairway. That's a double whammy, Ryan, and hard to get it close from the rough. And still a great week for Arone. This is Gavin Amella for Eagle at the last. Beautiful tee shot. Now just from off the green, uphill into the green. Got to keep the pace up here to get it to the hole. Ooh, very aggressive. So he'll have that for birdie, but a great week for Gavin. And now Golod at the short par four 17th. He does drive the green, this for Eagle. I uh, love that he stayed aggressive off the tee. A little bit easier to do when you've got a six shot lead, Ryan, but nonetheless has not changed his game plan and just re really showing some signs of some maturity in that game. Yeah, so another birdie. Speaking of Eagles, lucky cruise for Eagle. It's a two shot lead. And Ryan, he's got to be so proud. Biggest win of his career. Worked so hard, traveling the country with his father, driving to many tournaments, just trying to get as much experience as he can and improve that game. And he's really matured into a fine young player. Uh, Leo Chu back at the short par 4, 17th. He's going to work a little to his right. Players have been overreading this just a bit, and another player has done that. This looks like it wants to turn, but it just doesn't make that turn. And then finally, Liam Iyer. What a great story just to get it here to Cachada. Rounds of 68 to 69. Looking to finish things off. That was just cruel. Boy, he wanted that eagle, Ryan. So taps in for a five under final round 71 and a tie for fourth place finish for Liam Iyer. That's what it's all about right there. Hug from dad in the A-game caddy bib. Now R.J. Arone for birdie at the short par 4, 17th. Oh, the Paula Creamer special coming through again. He loves that putter. That's not going anywhere if he keeps making them like that. Now Majma, he too for birdie at 18, looking to finish in style. Cap off a nice little up and down from the bunker and just not able to keep that ball inside the hole. There wasn't a whole lot of break in that. And rounds of 70, 67, 74 for Majma. Great accomplishment, qualifying to get here to Kishada and one of the biggest championships in the world. Golod now drives the green. This for a tap in birdie. How about a perfect 10 under par for Misha? You can see the support he's getting from some of his friends. They all attend the academy and uh, just out there trying to lend their support. Now back at 18, Amela to finish his round. Lip out coming in, lip out going out. Rounds of 68, 69, 72 for Gavin. And now Lucky Cruz, Noda, takes the stage all to himself. How about this journey for Lucky Cruz? Well, and rightly so. And like I said, it hasn't been an easy road for Lucky and his father. Really challenging to get to a lot of these events for him to come here. Look at that. You can just tell. It has been a culmination of a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, a lot of sacrifice. Each and every one of these players in the field makes that sort of commitment, but only a few are able to come out on top on a stage this big. And this is the one he wanted. Lucky Cruz, 68, 65, 69. No luck needed. Cruz, your winner. The player development index that Golf Performance has developed is an integral part to providing a player with a snapshot of just where they're at with their game. The big thing for us was 
How do we make sure that players go to school prepared to play at the next level? We had to create a way to say, what's gonna differentiate them from another player somewhere else? And it's not necessarily a score. The formula was made really is looking at everybody as an athlete. How to transfer power energy through the ground, through the body, into the golf club. That was really important to us to develop that system so that we can actually show improvements. To give these players a better insight into how to improve technically, that is gonna be an instrumental part of us moving forward. Incredible action, 10 to 11, a three-way playoff leaves one man standing. Kai Molina, winner of the short par four, Nota Begay the third junior golf national championship. Kai, that was some kind of battle, a three-way playoff, 17 under par. That pressure had to be unreal. How'd you handle it? Uh, I just tried to relax and just do, play my own game. Well, Ty, when you and two other players create that kind of separation with regard to the rest of the field, how much extra focus does that take to close it out? A lot of extra focus because it's a lot harder. So three champions crown Nota, just one to be decided here in the 16 to 18 division. They've reached the final hole. They have, and they're all safely in the fairway with Gola to play first. And now, Ryan, it's just a matter of getting this on the green and enjoying that long walk to victory. And what a difference a year can make. Needed a great finish a year ago. Oh, just love the resolve in his eye. Still supremely focused. Has not let down at all in spite of the huge lead. And uh, that's exactly the type of commitment you got to carry it to the next level of course we've had some incredible alumni go on to do great things don't expect a whole lot different from Golod won't be long before he's a winner in the college game absolutely and um, you know these sorts of championships allow you to see the game's best at their respective age levels and so many of our players have gone on to the top programs in the country Leo Chu Scarsdale New York 6573. Loses that one just a little bit left, but got a nice little kick. Could have just as easily kicked into the bunker, but kicked straight and we'll have an eagle look from just off the green. Also in this final group nota, Tyson Sparks from Muskego, Wisconsin. He will attend Army at West Point. Well, obviously a fine student and has aspirations to serve this country and a very serious capacity. All the credit in the world goes to him for that sacrifice that he's about to make. Playing in that final group, he's had a front row seat to see Misha Golod. He will win his second straight. Speaking of winning, Lucky Cruz, four was a charm, finally breaks through with a three-shot win. Joined now by our 14 to 15 champion. Lucky, We've been here for four straight years. Hard to believe this championship is only four years old. You're the only competitor to be here for all four championships. Now you win. Has it sunk in? No, hasn't sunk in yet. It's been a long four years, a hard journey, lots of hard work, lots of struggle. And for it to pay off today is a great feeling. And it d doesn't seem real to me. Explain the emotion that went through you as you closed out that final hole. Just relief and kind of a release of all the bad times that I've, I've been through, that my family's been through. And once again, for it to pay off today is it's unbelievable. To win Noda's event, I know that has extra meaning for you. That's the reason you've been here all four years. Noda means so much to you. To, to have your name on his event now, forever lucky, what's that mean? means a lot to me and I appreciate all of his support and what he's done in making this tournament it's this is all of this is amazing so Lucky Cruz finally breaks through if you want to be like Lucky and play a Cachata you can avoid local qualifying limited spots if you sign up today jgnc.org Ryan Burr back with Nota Begay. Nota only the 16 and 18 final group left out on the golf course. Misha will go back to back, but he wants to do it with an eagle. Uh, trying to go out with style here. Just off the green, just a little left to right in this. 
cap off just a spectacular week of golf. I'd have to say, Ryan, Golod really loves this venue. It's been very good to him, and he loves this tournament. And no doubt. And how much has his game improved? I know he won last year, but, I mean, this was just domination. Yeah, it was precision. It was execution at the highest level. And uh, you just love to see when players come back a year later having improved in every single aspect of their game. Aron with that 67 in the opening round to set the stage to get him into this final group. Been a huge week for RJ. The Las Vegas, Nevada almost ends it with a birdie. It was going to take a big effort to uh, catch Misha, but uh, none of these players in those closing holes were able to do that. Got to give a little bit of a shout out to Clark Sonneberg. Attends the same high school I went to, Albuquerque Academy, same school my kids go to, and he's headed to University of New Mexico. So proud of him and everything that he's accomplished thus far. Yeah, Clark with that 67 in this final round. Tyson Sparks finishing up. 69, 69, 75. Difficult final day for Tyson, but a great week all in all. Yeah, got to give him credit. Kept fighting every step of the way, but some days you show up and your game doesn't, and this was just one of those difficult days. And then final, Misha Golod. He will go back-to-back. -back. Our first back-to-back -back winner, Nota. He'll have his name on the trophy as the 14 and 15, and now the 16 and 18 champion. Well, you can just see how much it means to him. It's just got to be tough with your family still in your home country. Hadn't had a lot of chance to get back and visit, and just the, the challenges and, and the mental hurdles that he's had to overcome trying to carve out a, a new life here in the U.S. And like I said, having those different opportunities, but ta taking advantage of all of them. And it was a final round masterpiece, a 65. You'll see the giant win as Chu finishes up, but it was that 65 that ultimately he did it on the final day, crunch time, birdie after birdie, as Golot does indeed go back to back, Noda. And wonderful effort here in the University of North Carolina. Tar Heels are gonna be getting a good one coming their way. Seven shot victory, some unbelievable play in this division. James Bordeaux with a 68, Diego Alvarez Perez with a top 10, Bennett Warren getting it done, but it's Misha Golod. He goes back to back at the Nota Begay. The short par four, Nota Begay the third Boys Junior Golf National Championship is presented by R1 Companies. Real estate reimagined. Powered by Wilson, the original golf brand since 1914. By the Junior Golf Hub for all things Junior Golf. And by Cachata Casino and Resort, Louisiana's best bet. Misha, it's one thing to win this once, but to come back and actually defend your title. Uh, championships aren't very often defended at any level. How good does this feel to go back to back? Yeah, it feels amazing. I played good all week. Um, round one, round two, not as many putts dropped, but today uh, made, a, made a fair bit of birdies. And uh, yeah, it feels amazing to go back to back. Man, Misha, you learned so much about yourself through success. You've been here a couple times, multiple championships. What are you gonna carry forward with you into that next level? You're living that dream. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I played, uh, Pretty much after the turn today, I play with a big lead, and that's that's a great experience for me to learn how to manage that and not like give shots away, keep playing, keep fighting for something. So um, that's a great experience, and of course, winning this tournament two years in a row uh, will help me a lot on, on down the road. I'm sure this will uh, get out quickly back in your home country of Ukraine. I know it meant a lot last year, uh, considering where things are today. What will this mean to your home country? Yeah, feels. I mean means the world. I mean, I just got off the phone with my dad. Um, he's super happy. I'll call my call my family later in the morning because it's probably nighttime right now. And yeah, I mean, they're they're going to be very happy. The nation's best girls compete in four divisions at the short par four Nota Begay, the third junior golf national championship presented by R1 in partnership with the Peggy Kirk Bell Golf Tour on Golf Channel tomorrow at seven.
What an incredible week, Noda. 155 of the very best players in the world all on one property. Some incredible golf, incredible scoring. We had Charlie here this week with his dad, Tiger, and then look at these champions. I mean, what stood out to you? Well, Ryan, what you see here on the putting green is what we're all about. We're about the families. We're about the players. We're about providing their opportunity as well as all of our great sponsor partners that have given us this chance to showcase these young players' talents. Yeah, no doubt. A junior golf tour that allows these players to play on national television. What a platform. Year four has been unbelievable. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing, guys. We'll see you back here next year from Cachada. From the first day I stepped in, I knew I would heed the call. I was destined for glory, rise above and never fall. This is the moment I've waited for. I was born to win.